Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about inactive relationships and how you can use them in your report visuals with the help of a DAX function known as use relationships. Keep watching to find out how. Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominage and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. When you have multiple relationships between two tables in your Power BI data model, only one of those relationships will be considered active. You can have two, three relationships, but only one will be active and the others will be categorized as inactive. Now, when you are building out your report, you are adding visuals, analyzing your data, let's say sales amount by date, it's going to leverage that active relationship. Now, in order to analyze your sales data or maybe your order quantity or order amount data by a different relationship than the active one, you are gonna need to use a function known as use relationship. Now, Use relationship has a couple of things that you need to keep in mind when you are using it, but let's go ahead and head right into the Power BA desktop to get started and we're going to talk about all of this here now. So here in the model view, I have a central fact table showing me the sales order for my organization. Um, I have a customer dimension table as well as a product sales territory and a date table. Now, if we take a look at our date table, if I hover over the relationship between my date table and my sales orders table, in fact, if I select it and take a peek over here at the relationship properties in the properties pane, which by the way, this is a preview feature that you must enable in the Power BI options and settings. So if you do not see this currently, if you are following along, you will need to enable this in your options and settings and then restart Power BI. But if we take a look at this relationship view here in the properties pane, we can see that the relationship between the order date and the date column and the sales and the date table is the active relationship. But maybe I know that I may possibly at some point want to analyze our orders by ship date. What we can do when we have multiple columns that we are able to create relationships with, you can create those relationships. So I'm going to grab my ship date column and drag it over and drop it right on top of my date column. Now, as I do that, I see a new relationship line. And if I hover, I can see this dashed line here is in fact representative of my date table and my sales orders table relationship between the date column and the ship date column from the sales table. Now, if we go to that relationship pane, or the properties pane, excuse me, we can see that this relationship is not active. Now, we can leave this as is, that is fine, we can leave it inactive. And what we can do, then we can create a measure leveraging that use relationship function with the calculate function as well in order to then use this in a visual. So back on my report view, I can first start, let's create a visual here now to analyze our sales amount by our date. So I'm going to right click and leverage the new update to the visualizations features in Power BI that just recently came out. This is also in preview as well. And I'm going to select add visual. I'm going to choose the matrix visual and then in the rows I am going to add the date hierarchy and then in my values I want to bring in the order quantity. Now we can see in this matrix here we have our a sum of order quantity for each year 
uh, based on that active relationship. But what if I wanted to know the number of orders that were shipped out on any given date? How can I analyze that? That is where use relationship paired with calculate comes into play. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to create a new measure and we'll do this right here in the report view. So from the ribbon at the top, I'm going to select new measure here now to begin. All right. So in order to analyze our data by one of those inactive relationships, specifically the inactive relationship we have here between our ship date and our sales order table, we are going to leverage the function known as calculate and use relationship. First, let's get started by naming our measure and I will name this quantity by ship date. So the first part of this expression is going to require that we bring in the calculate function. Now, as we start typing and we bring this in, I'm going to do the least amount of typing as possible in order to avoid as many errors as I can. So after typing a couple letters, I'm going to select the function that I want to use. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about calculate and how it can be used. Uh, maybe I'll save that for another video. But for now, calculate is just a function that you can use to evaluate an expression that's modified by filters. So we're going to pair this with use relationship. And I'll talk more about this pairing once we have our measure written out. So for the first part of this, we're bringing in calculate and then we are moving on to the expression. And for this expression, we want to use the sum function because we want to know the total sum of our sales order order quantity column. So I'm going to start typing out some. I can see it there. I'm going to arrow down and then tab over to bring that in. Now we can see here this little helper window. This is the IntelliSense and this can help you guide you in writing DAX. So this can help you when you're just getting started or just in remembering what uh, column or table or parameter uh, you need to pass through next. So as we can see here, sum is going to add all the numbers in a column up. So we need to pass through a column here now. And this is where we're going to pass through that sales order. Oops, we want to type in a single quotation to reference our sale order table. And we want to bring in the sales order order quantity column. All right, so that's the first part of this expression in here. Now we've got the column name in. Let's close this off with the closing parentheses. And now we can see we're back in our calculate syntax. So as we're looking at this here, we are done with the first part of this, the expression. So as we type in a comma, notice that the blue text is going to shift to the second part of this. That is the filter. Here's where we're going to bring in that use relationship function. So I'm going to start typing use relationship and again, do as little typing as possible. I'm going to arrow down, select use relationship and tab over to bring that in. Now, if we take a look at this IntelliSense here and see what use relationship is going to do and what it needs from us in order to function properly, we can see that we need to provide two columns here. These two columns are the columns where our relationship exists. All right, so let's start with the first column here and I'm going to bring in that date column from our date table. So I'm going to type a single quotation, begin typing out date and there we go. I'm going to arrow down one row and pull in that date date column. All right, that is our first column there now. I'm going to type a comma and now we are ready for that second column. And for the second column, we want to bring in from the sales order table, we want to bring in that ship date column. I'm going to select it. And that's it. We are done with this expression. So now we need to close it off with our closing parentheses. I need to put two in there now to make sure that all of my parentheses have a matching closing parentheses. Let's hit enter. And let's go ahead and create a new matrix visual. Now I'm going to right click add visual and then find the matrix visual here. 
For my rows, again, I'm gonna bring in that date hierarchy. And for my values this time, I'm gonna go in and bring in that matrix, excuse me, that measure into the values portion of the matrix. And there we go. We can see that we have different orders here for our ship dates. So we can go in and we can select a specific date. We can start with the year uh, 2011, drill down all the way down to January 1st of 2011. Uh, I'll select some different data here now and we can analyze this as well. So we can see our order quantity by order date as well as by ship date. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and you find some great use cases for use relationship in leveraging an active relationships within your data model in your reports. Uh, something to remember is that use relationship cannot be used when row level security is defined for the table in which the measure is included. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons below to stay up to date with all of the videos from us here at Pragmatic Works. If you're interested in more videos than what we have here on our YouTube channel, be sure to check the link in the description as well to sign up for our on-demand learning system where you can find lots of courses on DAX, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and Azure, just to name a few. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.